I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I wanna to talk to you about the Hoyt Carbon Go Sticks. So these are an accessory that hooks on to the front of your bow. They're designed specifically around Hoyt models where they have this lower attachment point on them. Um, and they give a quick disconnect for your front stabilizer to come off. And then you can also unscrew the legs if you need to. Now this accessory is gonna run you about 80 to $90, depending on where you get it from. Um, and it is an alternative to something like this right here. These just little True Glow clamping jaws or uh, you know Matthews or different brand clamping jaw. Uh, for Hoyt bows in particular, I think this is the best setup that's out there right now if you're gonna be hunting with this because it stays on the bow. You don't have to carry an extra accessory that could potentially you know, fall out of your pocket. Um, it isn't gonna be marring the paint on the limb. So with something like this, when it hooks onto your limb and you set it down, it's gonna have a little bit of that play with it. Um, and that's not something that you're gonna want. The other thing that the Go Sticks offer is they get the front stabilizer quite a ways away from the cam, which gives you a larger platform area for the bow to sit and balance, which means it's more steady in, um, you know, not perfectly flat terrain. So something that you'd be hunting in that's not perfectly flat, brush, um, divots in the ground, that kind of stuff. This I found does give a pretty good um, base there to help you be able to set the bow down and not have to worry about it falling over. It's definitely far from perfect. Um, however, none of these little setups are. Um, they can all tip over fairly easily. And um, this one I've just found to be a little bit better than some of the alternatives. Now the biggest drawback to any kind of setup like this is your back portion, uh, the bottom of your cam, will be on the ground. Um, now that's across the board, one of these plastic ones or this you know, more expensive fancy version, um, any of these, the cam is what's resting on the ground. And so you do have to be careful, you're not setting it on rocks, you're not getting dirt caught um, in with the string and with the cam. So when you set it down, you do still need to be pretty gentle with it. And that is one nice upgrade. If you have a Matthews bow, you can get Matthews um, claw setup that they have, and that actually elevates the cam off the ground. Now that one does have a little bit harder time because it's platform is, you know, about this big. And so wherever it's sitting, you do have to make sure the ground is actually a little bit more flat than like this setup, but that protects that cam. Um, however, unfortunately on, you know, Hoyt bows and stuff, that one won't work. So for now, I believe this is the best option. When you get to price, it just depends. Um, I like this because it's always on the bow. I don't have to think about it. If I want to put it into my bow case, um, it's pretty easy to do. You just unscrew this front portion, take the little legs off, and then lay it down in the case, and it fits just fine in you know, any of the cases I've used. Um, it's quick disconnect, just like any of my other stabilizers um, on the bow, where you just pop them on and pop them off. Um, so it fits along with that system really well. It is a little bit of an investment, but it is well machined and made. I've had this on the bow now for the better part of a year, and um, I haven't had an issue with the thread stripping out or you know, anything coming loose or the rods having an issue. So I hope you like this quick video. This is just a brief overview of the Carbon Ghost Sticks, and if I think that it's something worth getting. Um, if you own a Hoyt bow that has this lower attachment point on it, I think that uh, it is well worth the investment. Um, and I would definitely say go ahead and get that. It'll give you a little bit more peace of mind and it makes it nice for when you're glassing, being able to just set this on the ground. So if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content like this coming out soon. Thank you for watching.